Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. I feel like, I don't know why my voice is so deep, but I feel like I just got out of my like summer funk. And yes, it is still summer, but I've just like not been feeling myself lately. Oh, here's this heart. It's like 113 degrees, but right now it's 75. So it's 7 a.m. and Macy's on her way. We're gonna go on a nice little walk. I'm making us our coffees currently. And we are just gonna have a cute little morning. Today, our prank call boy episode came out. We're so excited. It's such a fun episode. If you guys don't know, Macy got into, well, she got so fucked over by this guy. Like, I don't even know how else to describe it. It's like a horrible story. So naturally we recorded a podcast about it. So happy Thursday, my favorite day. That's Macy. Hold on, let me go get her. Guys, that actually was not Macy. That is my new standing cooler. I'm so excited about, we'll get to that later. So anyways, Macy is close though. There we go. Gonna want a little bit more. So today is obviously like a really big day. We have a lot to celebrate. We exposed prank call man. I'm finally out of my funk. I am getting a massage because Macy got me one for my birthday, so I'm finally doing it. I have my M sculpt appointment today too. Coco has a rehab. We got a lot of appointments today. It's not that fun. It really isn't. But anyways, time for coffee. Cleafy Farms came out with their fall creamers. I mean, like, there's a lot of good things in this world right now. Okay, guys, it's a big day for us. Yeah, we're really excited. Guys, it's a big day. My episode came out. I have like friends like waiting to listen now. Almost yeah, like, no, I have, my hands are crazy right now. They're like, please, they were like, can you drop early? And I was like, no. You know, I'm about to hit a month right now. I have five years and I've never missed a Thursday. Wow. Ever. That's unheard of. People skip all the time. Um, you guys, no, I just get like, okay, so in the call, if you guys listen to the podcast, in the podcast, we were saying how it all started with us prank calling boys and me telling them that they stood me up. I was listening to the episode. I'm like, this is such foreshadowing. But the difference is, is mine was so playful. It was a joke. They And his was real. And his was real. So it was just funny. Oh my God, are you working with AG1? Mm-hmm, but I am a paying customer too. Wow. So, yeah, I'm a big fan of them. Um, I'm gonna put my assistant so long on my TikTok. Wait, let me see. Oh, I think I already showed. Oh, no, I didn't show you this one yet. ETA 330! Nervous. Like, perfect. safe on the road. We have so many hours long. I'm gonna have to do an edit of all my excuses and get in for the little friends. So, you're probably gonna should I read text? Yes! I know. I'm living my best life. Macy's also here. She's just over there. It's 8.30. It feels amazing. Just getting some work done. Promoting our podcast episode. Go watch if you haven't already. You guys can watch it on YouTube. I'll link it. The podcast YouTube channel. You can watch everything. It's a good one. And it's a crazy, crazy tale. It is. How are you feeling? Good. Um, I just, I say this in the episode, but I never say any crazy stories. Like, I'll allude to them, but I've never actually told, like, one of my crazy stories to the public. So, I'm really excited that Kenzie gave me an outlet. <laughs> we'll see if this is a route that I need to go. Um, I was telling Kenzie this, but, like, I was on our friend's podcast and on the bad broadcast and I was like, oh, like if people want me to start a podcast, I will. I was just kidding, obviously, because I have a full-time job and I can't even keep up with my YouTube channel, but it is inspiring me. I'm like, I need to like kind of change the route of my YouTube. Like maybe I could do more like talkative there because the last thing I need to do is start another thing. Like that's not- Yeah, you're going to stick to what you're doing. Yeah. Um, but we'll see. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll open up the- More stories. More stories because- there's a lot you could do like storytelling from. Mondays or something. Yeah. Like to, <laughs> to where you just like have them on. Yes. Like, you know? And I used to be so scared about who was going to watch them. But think about like even like the BFFs pod. Like one of the most yeah highly watched drama podcasts. Like even they say the most insane things. And people are like, okay. Like they move on with it. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm just a little. I weigh everything at you. I'm, I'm like, just like I a can't. little girl from Dallas, Texas. Yeah. Like that might get a thousand views on her YouTube video. 
Wait, but this text from Leslie's mom on Friday night or Saturday night. Hey, darling, what are your plans? Did Macy's date show up? <laughs> Why did this emoji? <laughs> Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. That is crazy. That's crazy. Anyways, it feels so amazing out here. I can't wait until it's fall. I've been living for this breakfast. So it's ground chicken, eggs, and then chow chow on top. It is so good. It looks like kind of bland, but it's so good. Today has been so good so far, and it's only 10.30. I just got a video of a sample of something that I'm working on, and I am so excited. Like, all of my friends, have, they've actually never been more excited for something that I'm doing. So, anyways, I've been getting, like, crazy mosquito bites in my backyard out of nowhere. Like, I didn't really notice it until last night I was in the pool, and then I got them all over my neck. So, if you guys, like, see bumps or something, it's mosquito bites, unfortunately. I'm wearing my Lucky Tea Peyton Sartens merch from Note to Self Podcast. You can get it on Shop Gear Media, which is also where you can get the Texas shirt. So, you should just go get them all. We're going to actually insert right now. I'm going to do a little Macy's 34th because I was wearing this sweater earlier, and I just want you guys to see that stuff. I want to show you all the stuff that I got recently from Macy's on 34th, their new line. I wore a lot of it when I was recording my podcast in LA, and then I know I mentioned it again in a recent vlog. I just love the stuff. The sweater I was wearing earlier today um, is from on 34th. Here we are. It is so soft and perfect, but on 34th is their new brand that is made for real women or by real women for real women. The stuff is so good. It's so cute. Like everything is just amazing. I feel like it's like simplifying your wardrobe. The stuff is so good. The price points are amazing. Like 10 out of 10 can I recommend more. What I was wearing earlier, it's just so soft. It's lightweight. It's really perfect for this time of year going into fall. And I also have it in cream. I couldn't decide which one I was gonna wear this morning. So I tried them both on. Um, but I'll definitely be bringing one to Nantucket. They're just really nice. It reminds me of nicer brands that are a lot more expensive. Um, and it's literally like the same sweater. So cute, so nice, so elevated. And oh, actually, what I really need to talk to you about are these pants. And I this is what I mentioned in a recent vlog, these pants. So everyone needs these, but you really need these if you work like corporate or you need to dress up for your job or whatever. I don't know. Everyone needs these pants though on like a day to day. I will say I got them in a size medium and I wish I would have gone a size small. I'm typically a size medium, just for the record. Here are the pants. They are so amazing. Like they are a wardrobe staple at this point. This tank is also from on 34th. And then I'll show you the cardigan fit on. It's great. But these pants, they're so flattering. They feel like you're wearing sweatpants, but you're like all dressed up. Like, look at how cute. This is basically what I think I wore to the studio. Um, and it's just amazing. So, anyways, if y'all are some corporate girlies or just needing a nice pair of black pants, I feel like sweatpants. These are it. Actually, like, nice looking. Like, if you want to wear sweatpants out but look like you're dressed up for work, these are the pants. You notice get something in your wardrobe and you know that you will be keeping them for years and years to come. Like, I'm so passionate about these pants. I love them so much. And then, another thing that I got um that i am obsessed with i'm gonna be wearing this this fall to something i mean so cute so the jeans themselves are so flattering amazing so soft and they're like i don't know i don't like when denim is like too sturdy and thick to where it feels like you can't breathe in them these are like really comfortable just feel like again so soft on your body but they have a flare leg which i think is so fun i would wear these with a pair of heels and then the top that i literally die for it's this, which I got a size, a double XL. I don't know why I did that. I should have stayed true to size, but it doesn't really matter because I can like tie it up and it still looks cute, but I don't know why I got it so oversized. This is the denim on denim set. I'm just pairing it with a pair of heels. Really cute, very comfortable. I will wear this to like some fun events. Like I need like cute photos in it, you know what I mean? But I love, I honestly even like this oversized like size for me i sized up a bunch but yeah i think it's really cute and like fun to play around with such a fan of all their stuff i love macy's like i really really do they are a podcast partner and i just i love their stuff they have everything you can do all of your shopping in one place and macy's just just like such a classic so tried and true and i love this on 34th line like i will be wearing so many different pieces from it but i just think even just the stuff that i've gotten so far is so good so i'm gonna link everything below and then you guys can also check them out you can find everything at macy's.com i'm obsessed with the stuff 
Oh my god, it's so good. But anyways, taking Coco to PT. Then I have got in sculpt, and then I have a massage this afternoon. Then we're gonna come home and get some stuff together. I'm just so happy to be in a good mood vlogging again, guys. Like, there was just something wrong with me. Guys, okay, so I just finished my sculpt appointment. I'm done, I just have one more session on my legs. I've been going to the Plastic Surgery Center of Dallas. If you use my name, you get $500 off. Um, but I'm so much stronger. It burns fat and it builds muscle. People do it on their stomachs a lot to get abs. Um, but I just, I'm so much stronger. Like, I'm lifting more, I feel so much better. I've just been, I don't know, overall, like, it's been so good. Like, I'm so glad that I did it. It's not plastic surgery, you like put these machines on, you probably have seen them on my Instagram and um, maybe TikTok, but you put, I've talked about it before, but you put, just look up Imsculpt Neo, and that's what it is. Anyways, there was another Evoke, which is the car that I drive, parked two cars over. So I get out of the appointment just now, I'm walking out, I'm like going home to get my Mendocino Farms before I have to drop off bits, and then I'm going to get a massage. And I get in the car and I'm like, that's weird. Why is there a Terry Black's cup in here? And then I'm like, wait, that's weird. Why is there a receipt from Terry Black's? Like, did I leave my car unlocked and someone got in the car? And then I try to turn the car, like to start the car and it wouldn't work. And I was like, oh my God, I'm in the other car. And I saw when I parked that there was another Evoke, just like two cars down, but I just like was whatever. Um, no, I fully got in the wrong car. So I hope no one saw that. Um, and yeah, that was really embarrassing. So anyways, I'm heading home. I'm getting Mendocino Farms again for lunch. I've been door dashing so much this week. Um, Cause I just, I don't know, like, I just haven't been inspired to cook because of the weather. And I don't want to make a salad every day. It's kind of boring. So um, I'm really looking forward to fall. I've been getting my recipes together and everything. Um, I'm looking forward to my 80 minute massage. That's going to be great. Oh God, lots of cars. This is the best salad ever, the strawberry salad from Mendocino Farms. Okay guys, it's so later on. I feel like I haven't been filming that much in my closet, but honestly, it's been kind of messy. I really, a goal coming up is to go through this thing. I feel like I've been saying that forever. Um, I just ordered a burger. My sister and her boyfriend are in Miami and they just sent me a photo at Umami Burger. Umami Burger is my favorite Oh my god, it's like my favorite restaurant ever. Like my death row meal was a truffle burger from my mommy and so many of the locations have closed. I didn't even realize that they had one in Miami. Um, and so I was like, I need a burger. So I ordered Shake Shack. Um, and I'm gonna pick out an outfit for tomorrow because tomorrow um, I have my workout in the morning. So I have weightlifting and then I have a very exciting errand to run for something that I'm being annoying. You guys will know about this in like literally a week. So it's like not that long. Um, and then I just need to get other work done. So... I'm just in like such a good mood again. I'm so glad that I feel better. Like, you know when you're just in like a funk and it's August? Like, is August? Does everyone get in a funk in August? Like, is that the thing? I don't know. such a fabulous day so far ran some errands for something very exciting and then um where i had to go was like out in the country and it was so beautiful and i was blasting the country radio okay i was blasting country radio my windows were down i was in the middle of it was just so beautiful there was land there was trees there were beautiful fences like it's where i belong right and then i was like wait i know what i need to do tonight i need to go two-stepping so, um, I called Macy and Jessica and I said, we need to go to Rodeo Bar, stat. So I think I'm gonna cook dinner for whoever comes over and then we're gonna go to Rodeo Bar, which is a place in Dallas. I've only been like twice and I've been wanting to go like more regularly. The only thing about it that sucks is the location. Like it's downtown and we don't go downtown for anything. So like, it would be amazing if it were was like not downtown. Like we just need it somewhere that we like actually go. And also it's like the furthest away. But whatever, it's gonna be worth it because they have this basement and it's so sick. Like the actual bar itself is so cool, specifically the basement. And I just need live music and I, I need to be in, the, you know, we thought about going to Fort Worth for a second, we did, but 
Um, I just don't really know if an hour drive is the vibe today, even though I would do that in a heartbeat. Stopping by my favorite place, as always. I'm home and I've been productive. I finally put away all of my stuff in my closet. This still looks like a mess because that hamper has been sitting in the corner. Um, but I got new hangers, or I got more hangers, which is exciting. I'll have these linked on my Amazon storefront. They're the hangers that I use for everything in my house, obviously. Um, I'm already two coffees in and I want another one, but I am gonna show you guys what I got from Cider. So I ordered from Cider two weeks ago. You guys saw on a recent vlog and I was like, I served all the Instagram ads and I, and I fell to the Instagram ads. I bought this dress, which I am obsessed with. So this isn't like a store that I would go to to buy like basics or like solid pieces of my wardrobe. It's cheap clothing and I was just, so, I'm obsessed with twall, like anything twall I'm obsessed. So with this dress, I was like, I need to try this out and see how it is. Um, so I have that. Oh. Also, a couple other pieces that I found from Macy's on 34th, which is like if you're gonna buy anything for the video uh, on 34th for sure. Look at how nice. Like this is perfect for fall. And then I also have this tank top, which I wore with my cream cardigan. And yeah, it's just so great. Like all these pieces are amazing. But anyways, for my cider haul, um, I also got this dress in blue, which I'm hoping to wear tomorrow. And I loved it so much that I just got it in another color. Really cute. Loved it. And then this dress, um, just like this nice maxi that I already tried on. So I'm not trying it on right now. I liked two more dresses that I got from them that I didn't like at all. Um, this one just feels really cheap. Not well made, which like is kind of to be expected. And then this one also feels not amazing. So I don't know. It's not the worst, but... Not amazing. The other stuff I like, I actually like from them. So anyways, I ordered some stuff because I'm going to Nantucket next week just to see the vibe. And we're going to do a little try on haul. Okay, so this dress is like kind of cheap looking, but for some reason I kind of love it. I think it's cute with boots just for like concerts or whatever. In the next like couple of months or I don't know, I, I like it. Like it's not, it, it looks kind of cheap like a costume at the same time. It honestly is good to keep as a backup for Halloween. But I do like it, so let me know what you guys think. I don't know. It's the it's the bottom that really get, makes it costumey, and it comes up a ton of the sides. I would wear it with boots. I'd wear pretty much everything with boots. Um, this is not for Nantucket, by the way, but I just think it's cute. Okay, like, I like the dress. The quality isn't amazing. I feel like things that look like this are normally, like, really expensive, though. I like it. Like, it's not awful quality by any means, but it's not... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I actually can't really tell. I like that it's like kind of preppier and that's like fun, but I don't know. You guys need to let me know what to keep and what to return. Please. I'm in all seriousness. I'm going to be reading these comments and making my decisions. So let me know. Okay. So I actually was like obsessed with this dress. It's a lot of fabric. It's giving like old age. So maybe I'm like, no, I'm not into it. But like the zipper is caught here and I can't tell if that's something I can fix with someone else. Also, my Marnie bag obviously is the bag I'll be bringing to Nantucket this is just giving of uh, this is like a little more extreme version of giving Nantucket but like I love a maxi dress and I just wish it's a lot of material you either love this one or you hate it okay but it would be perfect if it would just work also I'm like obsessed with hanging out in my closet again like I don't know how I ever stopped that but okay this one definitely great one for like a night out or dinner or something either with these that are sam edelman these are so cute um you really don't want to wear heels in nantucket because it's all like stone but maybe a kitten heel i feel like the kitten heel might be cuter but it's really not the vibe like when you're walking there i wore a kitten heel last year big mistake can't do that again i think it's gonna end up being these just for sake of comfort this dress i love it's fun it's cute it's playful i wish I wish I didn't have this gem on it because I feel like it just makes it a little too, like, useful. It could look nicer without it, so maybe I can take it off. But it's very flattering, and I think 
it's really cute. So I'll be keeping this. Some of these will be making it with me to Nantucket. Some won't. You guys will see. The fact that I'm wearing like cider to Nantucket, like Nantucket, <laughs> they're not wearing cider there, but whatever. I think this one's really cute. It's like fun, maybe for like a night out. We're going somewhere. Guys, finally, my closet is organized. There's way less clutter. Here, I'll give you a mini tour. I've had stuff on this forever and it's been driving me insane. I'm just not someone, oh, this is not looking good. I'm not someone who has a very cluttered closet and I've let that go recently. So anyways, this is more organized. This is not supposed to be here. They just have been sitting here. I don't even need all these. I mean, obviously I really don't need anything, but you get what I'm saying. Um, that hat, by the way, will be coming with me to Nantucket. I have everything here. I got, I actually have an entire bag from ThreadUp. I'll show you guys. So this isn't sponsored, but that's a whole bag from ThreadUp. They give you a bag to just send back of stuff to donate and then you can use it for reformation credit. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, and then over here, I just threw together some of the stuff I knew I wanted to pack for Nantucket. And then, um, I have all my other stuff over here. My cowboy hats that are, like, ruined. My clothes over bro's hat, if you know, you know. And then I have my outfits for this weekend planned out. So, anyways, I just love this. I do want to get a different, um, rug. Like, this isn't really, like, the vibe that I want in this room. I want it to be, like, more elevated. Because it's so nice and this is giving college. So, need to find one of those. And I also kind of want to get an ottoman. Like, think about this. From the inside, which is where I have those, like, pink pinstripe chairs in my front main room where the podcast is recorded. They can do ottomans, I think, in that print. Or even just in, like, a chocolate brown. Like, that would be so sick to have the ottoman here and, like, be able to, like, sit here and whatever. So, yeah, I just love this room. It really inspires me and it puts me in such a good mood it's just so fun like obviously i know it's an insane thing it's just been a dream of mine for so long um and i'm just so grateful and i love it, it puts me in the best mood literally ever not because it's like oh my god it's, it's because i'm like a visual person so when i see all this stuff it makes me more creative and it inspires me anyways i need to work on my laptop for a bit it is now 2 11 p.m i've got some work to do oh good my steve madden sandals are on their way I think I had to get some sandals for Nantucket again because I don't really wear sandals and I have been wanting the pair that are like knockoffs from there forever so anyways successful day she, the thing about Macy is that like she prank calls with her whole chest like she's doing full number only later did we realize it says maybe Macy Thompson when yeah. she calls no I am committed to the bit so mm -hmm. we start prank calling boys that have like you know they went on a date once and it didn't work out or just yeah. boys from past lives that we knew stuff about boys people have kissed kissed yeah yeah <laughs> and got you know screwed over so yeah. I start prank calling these boys and it's not like silly oh your refrigerator's running I'm like hey like it's 8 30 you said we're gonna meet at the state spot where are you I was getting full-on apology texts from these men being like I'm so <laughs> sorry like I was drunk when I asked you out I don't remember asking you out 